Hello and welcome to Model Kit Stuff and this is a quick tips video about dropper bottles. So dropper bottles have been used increasingly um, by model paint manufacturers um, over the last few years and indeed even Humbrol have recently released um, some dropper bottles for their acrylic paints. There's a number of advantages to dropper bottles, as, as most people will understand, and that is the ability to manage to control the amount of paint you can put through. There are also some disadvantages to dropper bottles, and the main one being that there is a tendency for that, the delivery nozzle, to dry up, get paint set hard in it, and difficult to get your paint out, and you end up pulling it out, cleaning it, rodding it through with something, whatever your solution is, it's a faff you don't need when you just wanted to quickly put a couple of drops in your airbrush. And the reason why that happens is because um, you store your bottles the way the bottle's been designed on the flat surface and that gets exacerbated by the fact that lots and lots of manufacturers of paint bottle stands design their stands to hold your bottle upright and of course the problem with holding your bottle upright is everything settles at the bottom so you can see here if I, uh, if I run this side on you can see the grey liquid here and all the silver still there all the pigment has settled to the bottom and it's the same with this if I turn this upside down you'll see the liquid is blue and all the pigment that's green is still sat at the bottom. So as this separates, you've got no liquid um, in your nozzle. The nozzle is free to slowly over time dry. So even though you have put the cap on tightly, um, the paint over time will dry. And you can see here it's, I mean, I've not used this for, uh, gosh, uh, three, four months maybe, and you can see that it's largely dry. It's still a little bit tacky, I guess is the word, but it's dry. And if I leave that another few months, it'll be hard and, and break up and flake up as I take the top off. Now, the way to avoid um, that drying inside the nozzle and blocking your nozzle is to not store your bottle that way, but to store your bottle that way. That way you've got liquid in your nozzle. Um, it also means that your, your sediment, your pigment has settled along the length of the bottle rather than all at the bottom. So um, it's actually quicker to mix your paint when you come to agitate it. Um, it agitates more quickly, um, especially if you put a ball bearing in or something like that. So that's my tip. Um, keep the nozzle uh, with paint in it. So ideally, you want to store them upside down or slightly vertically like that. Um, so that you've always got liquid in the nozzle and it doesn't dry. It's exactly the same thing that you should be doing with your adhesives. So there you go, that's my tip to avoid um, a dried nozzle and having to mess around cleaning it so you can get your paint out just store your bottle um, so there's always liquid in the nozzle and it will never dry. Hope that was useful, that was a quick tip from Model Kit Stuff.